Back here in Canada, cities and towns across the country are also marking the solemn anniversary, including one place that became known worldwide for helping thousands of people who were left stranded after the attack. Oh, say can you see... Canadians in a small town illuminating lanterns to pay tribute to those who lost their lives and were injured 20 years ago. Before September 11, 2001, not many people knew about Gander, Newfoundland. But once the U.S. closed its airspace, planes started to land at the small airport. People in Gander wanted to help. The third lantern commemorates the kindness and compassion shown by the residents of Newfoundland and Labrador who generously opened their hearts and homes to the over 17,000 plain people who landed in our province. Tired and shocked and weary, passengers and crew were welcomed with a shoulder to cry on, a place to lay their head, and of course, in the traditional Newfoundland way, lots of food on the table. of 38 planes found their way to Gander, and it even inspired the award-winning musical Come From Away. Jean Chrétien, who was the Prime Minister at the time, shared a message at the memorial. Myself and the Minister of Transport authorized the plane who could not land in the United States to land in Newfoundland, especially in Gander. And when I think about that, I've never been, cannot be prouder to be a Canadian because of the way you behave. The town is also proud of its legacy it's left on the world. Today is, is also a reflection on ourselves, on how we live our lives and how we treat our fellow humans. This is a day of acknowledgement that darkness is overcome only by light and hatred only by love. And it's a reminder to all of us to be that light and to share that love. Amazing grace. In Ottawa, dignitaries from across the country gathered at the Beechwood 9-11 Memorial. Canadians were among those who died on September 11th. Months later, Senator Pamela Wallen was one of the organizers of a movement called Canada Loves New York, where Canadians were able to show their support and love for their neighbours to the south. Today, Wallen shared a story of a woman from this country hoping to make a difference. At the end of a powerfully impactful day, a woman approached me, a nurse from Ontario, who had worked her full 12-hour shift, taken up a collection in the coffee room, then got in her car and drove seven hours to New York City. She asked that I give the money to a family in need, and I promised I would. And in Toronto, dozens gathering at Millennium Garden for a remembrance service. For U.S. dignitaries, it was a moment to thank Canada for the support they received in the months and years following September 11th. But they do remember, and I think it's important to keep remembering. For me, being in Canada, knowing the outpouring support that we have always received, but particularly on 9-11 and since then, it has been such an honour for me personally to be here in Canada to commemorate this day. And commemorations will continue in Gander tomorrow. The town will be unveiling a new 9-11 memorial at the airport. And 680 News took a look back at that faithful day. If you want to hear from three members of the team who covered the attack, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.